Uh, well, hello and welcome back. I'm just going to show off a quick little video about how to place items from Content Center. So say, you know, you just need like a nut or a bolt in your assembly. Well, those are standard parts. Uh, you know, they've been standardized across the industry. Uh, you really don't necessarily need to make them, although you can. Uh, you know, Inventor conveniently does have a library full of parts like that. So uh, first things first, you have to be in an assembly to even have the option to do this. You know, when you're still making the parts, you may not have an assembly yet. And, <laughs> you know, you may be looking for the option to actually create these, but just go ahead and throw everything into an assembly and then you can hit the drop down for place and choose place from content center and you'll be prompted with this dialog box here and uh, it's pretty straightforward really uh, they have some very general sections so you know say you're looking for like angle you know you would expand structural shapes and then choose angle and then you'll be given some options and then the same thing applies since we're talking about you know nuts and bolts you could expand fasteners and nuts, and then you're probably going to want a hex nut. Uh, and then you'll have a pretty substantial list. But when you get to this point, you know, you can actually reduce the size of what you're looking at a little bit if you're filtering. So, like, that's what you're probably seeing by default. If you installed everything that Inventor allowed you to install, you're going to have a massive list. And basically that's because you're looking at uh, all of the <coughs> versions of it from the different standards. You know, like you've got... ANSI but then you've got all these other ones and ANSI is what we use you know here in America so I'm gonna choose to you know and that's on this drop down for filters by the way uh, I'm gonna choose ANSI to make this a reduced amount of stuff and then you know I could basically go and choose one if I wanted a hex nut or heavy hex nut inch whichever uh, I would double click it and then this is kind of a different uh, prompt <laughs> like basically it can do two things either it'll pop up this little tiny nut and you have to click to place it and then you'll prompt it. You'll be prompted with this box, and you can choose your sizes. And it's going to be, you know, say I wanted a half inch diameter, I would choose it, and then whatever thread top. And then you have a couple of options here. Uh, I won't dive into iMates. It's kind of on the more advanced end. But basically, if you do standard, it won't prompt you to save it, uh, which I guess is nice. But the downside is if you're trying to do something like send these to somebody, those parts won't exist. So you need to make sure to do custom. But I'll go ahead and um, hit escape here to cancel that. And it gives me the same box again if I hit escape. It just basically takes you back a page. And I'm going to choose custom instead and uh, hit OK. And now it prompts a file save. So, you know, at this point, uh, you know, I could save it as whatever, change the name. It's, they always have a terrible format <laughs> on these parts. So I could hit save. And then you would see that same thing where basically I can place it. So I would click to place. And then you can just click and place as many as you need and then hit escape. And uh, that's pretty much it for the general premise of how it works. But let's go ahead and look at it a little more. So, <coughs> sorry about that. You know, you have these options to change your views. So, like, I think uh, a lot of people, they have thumbnail view by default, which is kind of helpful. But as you get, you know, more adept with using this, you're either going to want detail list or list view. And if you notice, they're pretty similar. Um, I'm not even sure which one I was on, but uh, if you're looking for this panel because it's missing, you can click Tree View, and you can kind of tell by looking at the um, the thumbnail. It's showing that left bar. And then I'm not sure what Table View is. Let's see. Oh, okay. So Table View shows every single configuration for this part. So, you know, like I was talking about how you needed a half inch. Well, let's see one of these here has a half inch size and uh basically you could go through and you'd have to expand these out just to be able to see like what's going on really but you could go through and see if a size you want is even listed before you click on it if you turn on table view that's pretty much the uh the premise with it and then i guess if you were going and adding parts to your content center you could do some refresh and you know the history actually that's kind of cool because you can check back and pull stuff you recently did but um you know, I, I don't really use much of this, to be honest. I mostly just use folder up, but most times I navigate. So, you know, like, generally speaking, you can always just go and find whatever. Uh, but another option, if you're not very good at finding things yet, <laughs> is to um, hit the search button to pop up this quick search option. And, uh, you know, I could search nut right here, going back to that, and it'll pull them all. 
And it's not a perfect science. Sometimes, you know, you may not be able to find it via search. But if you're having problems by navigating to it, you can always try doing a search as well. Uh, after that, though, I mean, it's going to take a while to get used to the interface. And, um, you know, let's go to another thing. But basically, like, one of the biggest hurdles with the content center is just understanding what you're looking at. I mean, just look at this when I go to an elbow. And this is what filters on. But, you know, you've got to get used to the format of seeing this huge long string of the, um, I guess you'd call it code. And then, you know, like what the part is and then uh, what kind of fit it is. You know, you got your different classes and then, you know, you have 45 elbows, 90 elbows, uh, different types of elbows like flanged and threaded. Uh, it can take a while to get used to, but basically like the idea is you do have folders of content you've just got to sift through them and then at this point you know if you start to know what you want like say you know you want a 3000 class elbow you can still get easy results from doing just a little search with a little more information you know so but that's going to wrap up this video i'll try to keep it quick thanks for watching